class and go to the next class. But some of you, I shouldn't tell you that you are going to repeat this class. The spirit of repeating is following you. It is knocking at your door. Excuse me, teacher. What is the problem again? But teacher, I know Amanda's people are going to be the class, but whatever it is, I don't understand. Young girl, you mean I don't know how to teach? No, teacher, that's not what I meant. But if you teach, I don't understand anything. Do you know the number of people I've taught? No. Do you know the number of chocolates I've seen? No. The problem with you, you don't pay attention in class. Teacher, from Monday to Monday I'm here. Every time you tell me that I'm not serious, how do you want me to be serious? Pay more attention in class, young girl. Excuse me, teacher. Another problem again? Teacher, sometimes you teach, I understand, sometimes I don't understand. You write in my book, be serious, see me. But today, I understand. Okay, you understand? Yes. That's good. Oh, 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 teacher, you mean with this size and height, I have chances of repeating this class? Yes, you do, if you don't work hard. What is your purpose in this class? To pass and go to the next class. Measurement of liquids. All of you? Measurement of liquids. Measurement of what? Liquids. Now, this number never misses. Our first example says, how many half liter cups can fill a three liter bottle. Follow me, what's our question? How many how liter cups can fill a three liter bottle? Again? In our solution, anybody with any idea? Okay, pay attention. We shall divide three liters divided by a half. Three liters divided by what? A half. Three liters divided by what? A half liters. So we shall have our three divided by a half. So when dividing fractions, the division sign changes to multiplication. All of you? Then we get the reciprocal of the last fraction. All of you? Reciprocal. All of you? Reciprocal. So for this case, we shall get the reciprocal of? The reciprocal of? Two a half. The reciprocal of? A half. What is the reciprocal of a half? Two out of one. So we shall multiply three times two out of one. All of you? Three times two out of one. So here we shall multiply numerators alone. All of the numerators alone. Numerators alone. It's what? Alone. What is, what is a numerator? A numerator is a number of the denominator. What is a numerator? A numerator is a number of the denominator. And what is a denominator? A denominator is a number down the numerator. So we shall multiply the numerators alone and the denominators alone. alone. Meaning we shall multiply three times two. two. Then we multiply one, one times one. one. Three times two, what is the answer? Six. 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 So our final answer is? Six half liter cups. 
six half liter cups. All of you? Six half liter cups. So you have to mention half liter cups. Since the question is saying how many half liter, liter cups. cups. So this is our final answer. Can you clap for yourselves? Excuse me, teacher. What is the importance of learning this knowledge of measurements of liquid? How does it help me? <laughs> Spectator, calculator, how are they help me in my normal life? Just know that these questions are coming in your final exams and you have to do the exercise. Teacher. But teacher, how can we pass exams when we have not understood? The questions are coming and you are going to do the exercise. Teacher, we don't have any other exams. So members, kindly pick, open your books and write down this exercise. Teacher. The example was simple and understandable, but the questions are hard and they are complicated. You have to go and do more research. Surely, with such examples and such complicated questions, I will not survive repeating. I have got zero. Me too, zero. Also, me, I got zero. Zero times zero. Zero. The entire desk, zero. How about that side? Zero. How can we do collection? We need to get more explanation. Let's go and call Chia Peter. Yeah. Good morning, how are you? We are fine. Teacher, we need your help. How can I help you? Teacher, today we learned about measurement of liquid. Okay. Teacher gave us work, but he told us we do corrections we take to the staff room. But the work is hard. We can't manage it. The teacher gave you work? Yes. Which work? Okay, bring the book and we see. Teacher, here are the questions which they gave us. Okay, this one. okay, these are the questions? Yes. Now the question is saying how many half liters can fill a three liter bottle? And the teacher gave one example and then the assignment. Is that it, teacher? Yes. In most cases, if you're learning, the main objective of learning should not be just passing. You have to learn to understand. understand. And in understanding, we also make Mistakes. mistakes. Yes, uh, but what is our it? Our uh, teacher told us that we learn to pass to go to the next class. That you learn to pass to go to the next class? Yes. Uh, that's what most teachers believe in, but the real purpose of teaching should not be to pass and go to the next class. The real purpose of teaching should not, should not even be teaching, it should be supporting, it should be supporting and supervising. So now first touch your head, touch your head. Tell your head, my head. My head. You are going to think. You are going to think. For answers. For answers. And you can make it. And, and you can, can make, make it. it. And I also like you to learn this rhyme. Don't fear. In learning we make mistakes. In learning we make? Mistakes. In learning we make? Mistakes. And from those mistakes, that's how we? Learn. And from the learning, that's how we? Understand. understand. From learning, that's how we? Understand. Now I'd like you to sing with me. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to make mistakes. 
I am going to learn. I am going to learn. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to understand. I am going to understand. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to learn. I am going to learn. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to understand. I am going to understand. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to understand. Thank you very much. Now with that, I'm not going to teach you any of these questions. But I want you to think. think. I want you to think. I want you to think. I know when you think you're going to get the right answers. Right answer. So, based on the questions that the teacher gave you, what you're going to do, we are going to get the real cup. Are we together? Yes. Then you get the real jerry can, based like of the question that the teacher has given you. And you go to the well and you do your own experiment. Are you getting it? Yes. In the class, all of you here, no one can't make it. As long as you do it practically. As long as you do it practically. And math is the simplest. Subject. It is the simplest. Subject. As long as you do what? Practice. As long as you practice. practice. And as long as you are ready to make miss. And as long as you are ready to understand. Teacher, here is the cup. Okay. Here is the jerry cup. Okay. Here is another jerry cup. Okay. Here is another. Do you know what this means? This one means these are the same question that your teacher asked you. They said if you get water in this cup and put it in this jerry can, how many cups of water will you have? The same thing if you get water and fill this cup and then you put inside here, how many cups will fill this jerry can? And this is a 10 liter jerry can. This one is a 10 liter. Jerry can. And then this one is a 20 liter jerry can. A 20 liter jerry can. Now the logic is you just need to fill only one jerry can. Which jerry can should be filled first? Five, 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 five liter jerry Sorry? Can. Five liter jerry can. Now when you fill the five liter jerry can, it can give you the magic, the learning. Magic. On how to even to fill in this. Are we together? Yes. So that is your task. I'm not going to give you the answer, but I believe if you do that, you will get the answer. Is it now simplified? Yes. Is it simplified? Yes. I believe now I've given you the clue, and now you are going to get the answer. answer. Are we together? Yes. And then, even next time, don't be used to the learning of answers. Be used to the learning of thinking. thinking. The learning of thinking. And the learning of making miss. Yes. And the learning of understanding. Are we together? Yes. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to learn. I am going to make mistakes. I am going to understand. I am going to understand. I am going to understand. How many 500 milliliter cups can fill 5 liter jerry can? This is a 5 liter jerry can and we want to see how many cups can go in it. Seven. 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 Seven.
Crafts! Hey, Crafts! cups in a five liter gel can. If the teacher taught us like that, things would be easy. How many 500 milliliter cups can fill 10 liter gel can? Right now, we are going to fill the 10 liter gel can using five liter gel and we got 20 cups. The third question is, how many 500 milliliter cups can fill 20 liter jerry can? Members, what are you going to do? We are going to use the 10 liter jerry can to fill the 20 liter jerry can. Yay! Yay! How many cups are those? Forty cups! 